What is going on, gaming nerds? Welcome back to Midnight Gaming with Mystic Nightmare. Thanks for coming to the channel and hanging out. Hopefully, you guys are having an amazing week. I'm having a pretty decent one, except for tonight. I've got a splitting headache, but that doesn't matter because the games must go on. It is midnight yet again, yet again. We are back on Satisfactory. Today, we are going to be doing automation of heavy modular frames and automation of computers. Okay, now I have done a lot of work and it's taken a long time. We're take, we're talking weeks here, ladies and gentlemen, weeks of work trying to get prepared for this episode and I'm excited to do it. However, I've done a lot of prepping and because of that, I'm gonna show you what I've done on the prepping because it, it, it was a lot of hard work and, and you're gonna take it and you're gonna like it because I'm gonna show it to you and you're gonna like it. To start off with, we've got this huge, massive platform. You guys have probably seen this platform in the last few videos, and that's because it's been around for quite a while. On top of that, I've already put down uh, our mod, or our, what are these things called? Manufacturers. I put down our manufacturers so we can go ahead and get started. Now, there's a couple of different types of computers that you can do. There's the regular computers, which are basically circuit boards, cables, uh, plastic, as well as screws. However, I was lucky enough recently to get an alternate quick wire computer recipe which is awesome this one takes circuit boards um, quick wire as well as rubber now it's pretty much the exact same thing except for the original actually has four items and this one only has three which is awesome and it does 2.8 per minute and this one actually only does 1.87 which is really 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 good on top of that with our second um, manufacturer over here i've gone ahead and i've done our alternate heavy frame recipe now the regular whoopsie now the regular uh, heavy english words heavy modular frames does modular frames steel pipes encased industrial beams as well as screws this one is a little bit different by the way this one actually does two per minute this one this alternate recipe does 2.8 per minute which isn't a ton more but it's almost three more three Okay, this one does modular frames, encased industrial beams, steel pipes, and concrete. So it replaces the screws with concrete, which is really, really cool. All right, so we've gone ahead and put those down where I want them, and I think they're actually going to work. Hello, lag spike. Now, let me show you the other stuff that I've prepped. Uh, first of all, our copper. I've gone ahead for the... Um, for the circuit boards, I've gone ahead and I've overclocked one of our uh, uh, one of our constructors to go ahead and make copper, and I've ran a line over to the big platform over there. On top of that, uh, the as you can see, I've got some concrete coming down the line here underneath the fuel that actually goes to our vehicle refueling station that we did in the last episode. Not in the last episode, the episode before the last episode. And as you can see, that concrete comes down over here. And I've got all of our stuff coming through right over here straight to this large platform right here. And that's actually worked out really, really, really well. Um, and to be able to do the concrete, I actually had to do uh, I had to do uh, I had to do one more constructor as well as put our storage constructor a splitter on our storage constructor which is right here and i had to split that and put those two together to be able to make as many um concrete as we need right th here this one's doing 37 it's almost all the way overclocked and this one over here is just doing its regular 22 but it's split into two i might actually upgrade that one to 40 that way i can make sure that you know we're getting enough in our storage however we have so much in our storage it's not that big of a deal all right so we are at the top of the world here and at the top of here where our coal factory is before we only had two coal factories why because we i didn't realize that we actually had a third coal power or a third pure coal node over here and as you can see i found it i was lucky enough that's what we were running off before was those two one of those runs into our coal generators which generates all of our power through coal well half of our power now that we've got our fuel generators up but the other one actually goes down to our steel factory and does a lot of our steel factory stuff now it also helps with our uh, 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 quartz as well as our sulfur factor so we're getting a little bit low when it comes down to how much stuff we're piping down in coal so I needed a third one and I found this one up here I'm super excited about it I went ahead and set this one up this one's pumping out 400 coal per minute and as you can see now instead of two 
of these vertical conveyors. Whoa, hello, lag spike. Instead of two of these vertical conveyors, we've got three of them coming down. They look very stylish, very cool, and we've got three 400 uh, per minute, 450, excuse me, 450 coal per minute on each one of these belts right here. And the bottom line, or the bottom one has now been switched over to... Uh, to fuel the fuel generators or the coal generators. The second one up is uh, the actual belt that goes down to our big platform. I've actually ran it all the way down to the bottom, as you can see, and it runs all the way along the top of basically our quartz and our sulfur lines, and it runs all the way down to that huge platform down there, which is totally awesome. Now, to do the quick wire computers, what we needed to do is we actually needed to get some uh, some Katerium wire to go into our computer factory to be able to do, you know, the, the, the quick wire computers, which by the way, if you can find that recipe, I highly suggest it because your quick wire basically saves you some time, or I, should, I shouldn't say some time, uh, uh, saves you one of your constructors for your regular copper wire so you can use the quick wire instead now before we did just quick wire it's one belt full i mean ton of quick wire six constructors worth of quick wire i've gone ahead and thrown a splitter on that uh, that belt that goes to storage for quick wire and I've ran it straight across over to our oil factory. Now, no, it's not actually attached to any of our oil factory, but as you can see on our oil factory, I've gone ahead and I've built this nice, tall, raised um, conveyor belt that goes all the way along the top and along the front of it. On top of that, because we're going to be using rubber instead of plastic to do our circuit boards, I've gone ahead and I've put two of our, I think it's this one and this one over here. I've gone ahead and put two of these together, two of our, our oil refineries together to do rubber so we can do uh, half of it with our uh, uh, our circuit boards. So that'll take rubber instead of plastic like it normally does. And it does 7.5 per minute instead of the old one, which actually does uh, regular plastic and only does five per minute so this alternate recipe is really 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 good so we're going to use that for our computers now i could have taken this belt these two belts and i have i could have put them on the top just ran them along the side of our platform and all the way down the back would the conveyor belts be in the way of our machines? Technically, yes, they actually would, and I didn't want to do that. So I've decided to try something different. I've made a hanging ceiling under here, as you can see, and I've I've split apart the rubber as well as the quick wire, and I've put it along the hanging ceiling. You can barely fit in here, and it works great because I can take the two conveyor belts, English words, the two conveyor belts and I can run them all the way down the back and I can have them come up the back right here and that's worked out really 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 well okay on top of that you can also tell that I've got some iron ore coming in here because we're going to be using um, basically steel pipes to do our heavy modular frames and stuff like that so what I've done is remember how we had two open lines down here of iron ore that we weren't actually using I've gone ahead and disconnected those guys from our oil or from our oil from our, our iron ore I've gone ahead and put them on a splitters and I've gone ahead and merged them right here and as you can see I've got an iron ore which does an iron ore belt line which does 75 per minute I believe it is or no I'm sorry maybe it's was it 120 I don't remember what it is I think it's like either 75 or 120 I can't remember finally to make our heavy modular frames, we needed to make another factory for modular frames. As you can see over here, I have made a second factory with these two assemblers doing modular frames. Now this is cool because if you remember correctly and you've been watching the series for a while, these three constructors right here weren't being used at all because we didn't need them. Okay, so I went ahead and used those. I created another line of heavy modular frames, and or not heavy modular frames, but modular frames. And the cool thing is, is I'm using an alternate recipe for our reinforced plates, which allows them to do more per minute. And then I might end up changing our modular frames into a uh, a separate one, which is an alternate alternate modular frames, which does steel pipes instead of regular pipes. 
like this, and it does... What does this one do? This one does 5.6 per minute, okay? And the other one does modular frames, which does 3.76. So I'm considering actually taking, since our storage is full of modular frames, I'm considering splitting off of this one and merging it with this one. That way we can meet the base requirement for our heavy modular frames. But until we do that, we're going to be a little bit short on our base um, requirements for our modular frames to make our heavy modular frames. So I'm thinking about splitting those and putting those together. I don't know. Our storage is almost always full. I don't use a lot of the regular modular frames, but to be able to pipe those up into our heavy modular frames area, what I've done is I've made a second hanging ceiling under here. It goes straight from the machine up here, and then I can run it all the way into the back, which I think is totally awesome. So that's pretty much all of the prep work that I've done, and it has taken me weeks, ladies and gentlemen, to do it. Of course, the update came out and all the other stuff came out, so I actually started this quite a bit before the update, but all of the stuff is now ran to our main line over here and we're going to go ah, the stupid lag spikes and we're going to go ahead and get started just so to start out what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and look at our circuit board or our uh our computers we're going to start from the bottom and we're going to do two straight lines we're going to do one of quick wire and one of rubber and because these are so close to actually being like in a straight line to these holes right here i think that we can go ahead no, get up there, you knucklehead. I think we can go ahead. Oh, really? Eh, it's too far away, but really it's not. All right, let's go ahead and do that. All right, so there's our rubber. There's our quick wire right there. That's going to come down here just like that. That one's a little bit of an angle, but that's okay. We don't care. Eh, it almost looks straight. I don't know, you no, know, it, it is on angle, I can see that, but that's okay. So we've got our rubber and we've got our quick wire coming in. Now, to, we need to do our circuit boards. Now remember I told you just a minute ago, we're doing an alternate recipe for that. So what we're gonna do, is we're gonna take our assembler, we're gonna get it as close to our belt as we possibly can. We're gonna pull it all the way forward, then we're gonna walk back. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Nope, I put it in backwards because I'm a knucklehead. I always put them in backwards. All right, let's go ahead and try that again. One, two, three, four, five, six. And we're going to bring it over until we can't. Okay, that should be perfect right there. Now we're going to go ahead and choose our alternate recipe of circuit boards, which is going to be 7.5 per minute quick wire and rubber instead. So let's go ahead and get our rubber. Where is our rubber? Oh, there's our rubber right there. Excellent. So what I can actually do is I can take our rubber. I can go like this. I can come over here and figure out where exactly I can split it. So I'm splitting it right there. I can go into our splitter and we can go ahead and just take our splitter and put it right about there. I think that should probably work for it, hopefully. Boom, it's almost straight, not quite, but that's all right, I'll fix it a little bit later. All right, so the next thing that we need for this is we also need uh, regular wire, and that's why I brought the wire over from our wire factory. So we're gonna do, I'm gonna stand over here and I think I can get a good idea of what's straight and what's not. Needs to go into that hole right there. Are you straight? You look like you're straight. So we're going to go ahead and go here. And then we're going to go ahead and connect that there, right? Does that look straight? That looks beautiful. Now, there is going to be a lot of crossing of, of conveyor belts. I don't mind if they're perfectly perpendicular to each other when they cross. As long as they're not running parallel to each other and they're literally running over the top of each other. I maybe have... <laughs> I could have started like a six high conveyor belt line and then just use splitters and uh, vertical conveyors to drop them down to the platform, but I figure we'll try this first and we'll see how it works. So anyway, this now gets connected to this bad boy. Doesn't matter where because it only needs three. Let's get up here real quick here. Here, here real quick, here, 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 there we go, right there. All right, so now we go, We need power. So I'm gonna go ahead and take an MK2 power pole. We're gonna stick it right there just for the, the giggles. And then I think what we're gonna do uh, is we're gonna come over here and I think we're gonna put one, can we put one on the end down here? I think we can put one right about here. This should be fine. And we'll go ahead and go up to that power pole right there. 
you're going to come down here. And then we're going to go ahead and hook you up to you and you up to you. And that should get us going. Are we running? We are running. Okay, now here's the thing. We're going to need 7.5 per minute on this. We actually need 9.375. All right, so I'm going to have to go ahead... And I think, I don't know if I'll do it right now. I don't think I'm going to do it right now. I guess I could. I mean, they want, it wants nine, right? There's eight. It's probably like 134. But I don't want to wait for this. Okay, so we're going to do, so that's basically our computers. That is it. That's our computers. All that prep work, the weeks and weeks of prep work, and that is done that quickly. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and attach a belt to this vertical conveyor. As you can see, this vertical conveyor goes down there. It hooks up with our main uh, storage line, and it's gonna go all the way down to storage. I've already got all of that set up, and as you can see, I've already ran the line all the way down to our storage. So that is our computers. Bada boom, bada bang, we're done. We gotta just wait till all of the circuit boards and everything else get, um, get caught up. Well, oh, the lag spikes, man. They're not bad. It, this game runs smooth as a baby's butt until that one lag spike that you get and it just snaps. It freezes. It sucks so bad. Okay, so we're almost ready to go. It'll probably start out at like 50. No, it says 100% right there. 9.375. What was this one over here? Uh, this one's at 10. I had it at 10 at 134. So it's probably down to 20 right there. Let's see if that'll get us to 9 point. It's probably like 25. I bet you it's like 25. Yep, so there's 9. 25. All right, so we'll leave it at 25 for right now. That should be good enough. Off camera, I'll do, you know, more of the overclocking. But now we need to start in on our heavy modular frames. Heavy modular frames, we're going to go from the bottom up. We're going to start with concrete. No problem whatsoever because we have got concrete down here. Let's do this. I need to come down here. Let's go ahead and grab it from right there. I'm going to see if I can make a straight line, and it's going to go right into there. Hopefully, I get it the first try. I don't think I will, because I suck at this game. Conveyor belt is too long. Is that straight, though? That's all I care about. Is that straight? It's going to drive me nuts if it's not straight. Whoa, come on. Get up there. I have a tendency to walk off cliffs for some reason. It drives me nuts. All right, so right there is too much. It's going to be right at the end. That's kind of annoying. All right, perfect. Perfectly straight. All right, now that's going to be our line that tells us where we're going to put our constructors and everything else. Okay, so the next thing that we actually need is we need steel pipes. With steel pipes, we're going to need a constructor. So we're going to go ahead and start right here. We're going to get as close as we can to this line over here. We're not going to put it inside it, though. We're going to pull it. Oh, I can't really see right there. We're going to pull it all the way up front here. We're going to go one, two, three, four. Let's go five just in case, just for the giggles, just to make sure it's a little bit inside that belt, but that's not that big of a deal. Next thing we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to go ahead and throw some steel pipes in here. Bada boom, bada bang. All right, so the steel pipes, the reason I'm doing steel pipes is because they craft faster and they basically they craft faster. That's, that's basically it. it. Normally, if we were to do like steel beams, steel beams take forever and we might have to... Normally, I should say, uh, what was it that I needed? It was encased industrial beams. That's pretty much what I'm talking about. The normal standard recipe is steel beams. They take too, they take too long. They craft too slow. They suck. Um, but the alternate recipe has steel pipes. That's why I decided to do steel pipes up here because they're just faster. They're a lot easier. We need to put a steel pipe foundry or a steel foundry up here. We're going to go ahead and back it out twice. Can we go ahead and throw that right there? Is it going to work? I don't think so. Nope. Not going to work. So I think what the what we need to do is we need to go here. We go one, two, three, four. That, I believe, should work. Perfect. Beautiful. Excellent. Love it. Want more of it. Steel ingots on the way. We need 30 per minute. Might as well look at the overclocking. We need 15. Okay. And for the steel pipes, we need 33.75. So we're going to need to overclock this. And hopefully, we'll need, we won't need more than 30. I think we are going to need more than 30. 
Yeah, coal and iron. All right, so we need to run our coal and our iron for our foundry here. Let's see, so there's our coal. We're gonna go ahead, take our coal. We're gonna go straight back, right. I think we could probably go right inside there. Is that gonna be a straight line? Yep, that's gonna be a straight line there. So there's our coal going in. Now it's time for our iron, awesome. So here's the problem with the iron. The iron is right on top of... Yeah, it's right on top of our our concrete. Are we going to be able to... If I put it there, it's going to run down the middle line of the concrete. If I put it there, that might actually work. If I go there and I come down this way, this might actually work because it's right next to... Now, I need to go back a little bit further. That's not going to work. So we'll go... We'll put one right here. Whoa, 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 whoa. Get over here. Come on. Here, there, there, there. That'll be perfect right there. Okay, so now we need to take this one and put this one down here. I think we could probably put it right about there. Is that going to be a straight line? Whoa, hello, lag spike. That looks like it's a perfect la uh, perfect lag spike. It's a perfect line into here. All right, beautiful. That's awesome. Okay, so the next thing we're going to need to do your English words, we're going to need to do encased industrial beams. Encased industrial beams are awesome. We're going to go ahead and go assembler. Flip it around. Make sure it's in the right area. We're going to pull it up till it goes. There we go. We're going to go one, two, three, four. Four, five. Can I do it with five? I'm hoping I can do it with five. This should work. Can I get you in here? Okay, so you actually need to come into there. And you need to come into there. That's perfect. Gives us enough space. Let's go ahead. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the alternate industrial, encased industrial beams. Where is it? Right there. Because this one, this one normally takes beams. Beams are slow and they suck. This one takes pipes. Pipes are fast and they're awesome, okay? But we are gonna need to overclock this. Okay, so we need steel pipes and we need concrete. No problem. Let's start off with steel pipes. First, we need to get a constructor. Now, the problem with the constructor, I believe, is if we put it there, we can't get the, yeah, we can't get the concrete in. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead, and see if this will work all, let's see, yeah, you here. Let's see, we'll go Scoot it over. One, two, three. Now nah, we'll go four. I think four will work. Okay, so we'll go ahead and take that constructor, put it in there. And then this one is going to make our steel pipes. And then we're going to need a foundation or a foundry, steel foundry, to do the pipes. So we'll go one, two, three, four. All right, we'll connect this one to here. This one's gonna do our steel ingots. Steel ingots, awesome. Okay, this one's doing steel pipes, awesome. This one's connected there, cool. Okay, now for this, uh, we're gonna need concrete, which is our encased industrial beams. No problem, look what's over there. There's concrete right there, excellent. Uh, how are we gonna get concrete in there? How, how about we go like this? Can I just kind of turn you come out come down the side here come through here and then hook you up right there okay so if I'm gonna do a splitter I'm gonna go ahead and do a splitter right there let's see if I got that perfectly centered I did, so we've got concrete coming between these two machines and feeding into there for our encased industrial beams. That's totally awesome. Okay, now we need to go ahead and run our lines for uh, our iron. The iron is not working. Why is the iron not working? All right, I think I got our coal fixed. Our coal is now lining up. For some reason, when I put down that second... Uh, conveyor belt pull I, it just kept snapping to the first one even when I deleted the first one it kept snapping to it I don't know exactly what was going on there, but we've got that fixed. All right, so we're gonna do 
is we need to get coal and we need to get iron in here. All right, so let's just go ahead and get the coal in first. I'm just gonna throw the coal right here. We're gonna do a splitter right there. And we're gonna pull it over. We're gonna bring it in right there. Oh, that looks like absolute crap. Absolute crap. Uh, let's see. There's got to be a better way to do this. Uh, can we... Can I stick maybe a splitter right here? And then we can do the iron. No, nope, that's not going to work either. Um... Crap, how am I going to run that over here where it's not going to be running down the exact same line? Okay, so I think I've got this all figured out. I went ahead and I moved our vertical conveyor over just a little bit. I've gone ahead and put a splitter at the very top of it. And then I went ahead and I put a line of coal into our foundry for our steel pipes down there. Here's a line of coal uh, uh, into this foundry right here for steel pipes. And as you can see, those two are perfectly straight. They're perfectly nice looking. Nothing is really running down the same edge. We've got crossing belts, but that's not that big, that big of a deal. So this does steel ingots. All right, so now we need to stick up some power. So let's go ahead and do some powerage over, say, right about here maybe. Go here. So one two, three, four, five, should be six machines. Six machines plus the connection to bring in power, which goes over there. This should all start up. Everything's running perfectly. Uh, we do have encased industrial beams. Yes, we do. All right, we've got steel beams. Are still pipes? Yes, we do. Okay, so with the encased industrial beams, we're going to need, I think, like 30-something. Uh, let's see, concrete. You, you, you do 36 steel pipes. So for making 36 steel pipes, we're going to have to come in here. We're going to have to put in some overclockers. I think it's going to be 134. 134? Not even freaking close. How about 150? I bet you it's 145. No, not even close to that either. I'm just glad these things craft really, really fast. There's th I need three of them? Really? Come on, baby. Get up there. What did I say it was? I say it was 36? Yeah, 36 exactly. So, but it's two, 240. Did you say 240? Yeah, perfect. Okay, so with this one, we're going to need 36 steel ingots per minute. We are already doing 30. We just need to overclock this one just a little bit. Probably at 120 would probably do would do it. Either that or 134. 36 per minute. Okay, so that one's overclocked. we got enough steel pipes coming in. Uh, does, is this pumping out enough steel pipes? Hold on, how many do we need for this? We need 33.75. 33.75, we got 15. 158. Nope, 150 or 200. There's 30. And it's probably like uh, 225. Oh my gosh, through 225, 33.75. So we're going to need to make sure we got 33.75. Ingots coming in, we're already doing 30. What did I say? 33... Oh, that's 38. What is it? 120? Okay, that's 36. There's 33. No, it's got to be 13. 113 for 339 which is fine. I know that we have plenty of coal coming in. We've got like 400 coal coming in, and I know that we've got like at least 75 iron ore. Okay, so that is actually a 100% crafting. 
Uh, oh, except for the modular frames. That right. That's right. Uh, what did we need for the encased industrial beams? Let's go ahead and check this out. Encased industrial beams. We need. Oh, we need like nine. Right. Uh, oh, we need to put in modular frames. What am I doing? I'm such an idiot. Modular frames. Uh, we need to bring them down the side here. Down the back. Take it from behind uh, and go. Please, please work all the way down. Nope, that's not going to work all the way down because I'm an idiot and didn't check to where our uh, concrete was going. So we're going to go ahead and delete you. Go ahead and delete you. All right, is this going to work? Are you going to be in the way, pole? Everything's freaking encroaching, man. This is what happens when you do this kind of stuff, and you're trying to make it as, as tight-knit as you possibly can. And the reason I'm trying to make it as tight-knit as we possibly can is because I plan on doing our supercomputer automation up here. So our, all, all our supercomputer automation is going to be that whole area right there. That's why I made this thing so big. All right, so we've got modular frames coming in. Finally, we got some modular frames coming in because I'm an idiot and can't run a belt properly. All right, so we're at a 100%, 9. was it, 9.375 for engaged industrial beams. Uh, we're only at six. I don't think we're going to get up to nine, to be completely honest with you. And it's going to take for freaking ever for these to actually craft up fast enough for me to actually figure out, okay, what are we at? Uh, okay, so I'm going to go ahead and put in 200%. That's at 12. Uh, we could probably do it down 6, 7, 8, 9. Actually, we could probably do it down to 150, and that should put us at 9. All right, so there we go. That's at 9, and I already know everything's already overclocked well enough where we don't need to worry about that. Um, that's 100% alternate heavy modular frames. That needs to be ran to this vertical conveyor and we got them spitting out going into storage down there ladies and gentlemen that is our computers as well as our heavy modular frame setup it doesn't look like it's really big and it's really hard to do but the lines that you have to run to get all of your machines all of your materials is freaking Insane! It is absolutely insane, but it's done. Uh, I'm happy with it. I'm excited. Now we can start looking into getting into our supercomputers and stuff like that. But we finally automated our computers as well as our heavy module frames. And I'm glad I don't have to craft those by hand anymore because they absolutely sucked. If you liked the video, hit the like button. If you didn't, don't hit it. Just make sure no matter what you do, subscribe. Thanks for coming to the channel. Hanging out with me today, guys. I really appreciate it. I know it was a little bit scatterbrained tonight, but that's what happens when you got a migraine. It's all good. Keep gaming. Keep doing it. Midnight. Have a blast. We'll see you guys in the next episode. Take care. Have a good one. And bye-bye.